Hello my viewers, this is Indal Kacho. Today I will show you how to make a line graph in Microsoft Word. Here I have a table which contains students grade in percent at different academic years. As you can see here, okay? So uh, we will convert this table into a line graph, line graph in Microsoft Word, so that it will be very simple to understand, to understand or to give explanation explanation as you can see here in this table we have number of students in percent and we have different grades uh, those students have different grades grade a grade b and grade c for instance at different academic years so we need to show this one in uh, graph form so to make this one the first step is we need to click a place where we want to insert our uh, graph in my microsoft word or in our word document okay then we can insert our uh, default graph and finally you can modify it you can modify it so let's begin the tutorial so let's assume uh, we wish to insert our graph is here so we need to click here then we can insert from our menu click insert then you have charts yeah so click on chart and from these options you can simply uh, select a line a line because we are going to make a line graph so select line click on line then from this line options you can select the uh, suitable one for your data for your given data okay so for instance let's select this one which says line with markers so let's select this one and make it okay that it will display automatically into windows into windows the first window which is in the left is a word uh, window and the right one is this one is excel excel spreadsheet so first let's adjust this window so that we can modify our default uh, graph our default graph to adjust these two windows simply you can click uh, w where you wish to modify for instance if you wish to modify in the excel simply click here in the excel sheet so that you can minimize or uh, drag you can drag just like this one and if you wish to modify this one the uh, left window simply click anywhere then you can modify you can modify for instance you can drag just like this so that it is simple to see yeah even you can drag here up So as you can see here, we have a default uh, line graph and we need to modify this one because it is by default. Uh, so our uh, input, our input data is given in this simple table form. So we need to substitute these values to this one. Yeah. So in the Excel sheet, we have a default table again. So we need to change this one. As you can see here in the graph, in the horizontal axis, which means in the x-axis, which are the independent variables, category 1, category 2, category 3, and 4 are the independent variables, which means they are not changed due to some factors, okay? So in this case, we have years in our case, thus independent variables must be academic years, academic years. So here in the left, I mean in the right uh, uh, window, in the Excel sheet, simply you can replace category 1 with academic year. Academic year, let's say 2020. So in the same way, we need to replace all categories with academic year. So the second one is simply 2021. The third one is 2022. And the last one is academic year of 2023. So as you can see here in the graph, while I was replacing here or I was typing, simply it will automatically update the values, the values. It was category 1, this one was category 2 and category 3 and category 4. So what's left is we have the variables, the dependent variables here. As you can see here, those graphs represent series 1, series 2 and series 3. So we need to replace this one by... Uh, grades yeah here the dependent variable in the given table is grades grade a b and c so for series one we need to say grade a you can say grade a for the series two you can say grade b and for series three you can say grade c 
so as you can see here the legend even le the legends are updated updated based on our input so we left the only those values yeah the the values the percentage of students who scored uh, grade a grade b or grade c so in the academic year of 2021 students who scored grade a were 33 from this table it was 33 so you can simply type 33 in the same academic year students who scored grade b were 40 40 percent 40 percent of the students scored grade b and again in the same academic year 27 percent of the students scored grade c grade c so in the same way we need to replace all these values for the academic year of 2021, uh, only 25% of students scored grade A. And again, the same year, we have uh, 40, 40%. Again, for uh, grade C, we have 35%. So as you can see here, when I replace the values, simply it will update, it update the graph. And in the academic year of 2022, we have uh, 24, 31, and 45. So let's replace this one. And finally, we have 30, 50, and 20. Okay, 20. So here, this is what we want. This is our line graph based on our input. Uh, uh, data our input data so to modify this uh, graph let's expand our word file because simply you can maximize yeah you can maximize then you can modify this one so this is uh, our graph if you want to format your graph to make it more attractive you can simply uh, click on the part that you want okay for instance if you wish to change the grid line here we have a grid line yeah have a grid line simply you will point on that then you can simply double click so that you can change for instance the line color the, you can change the line color yeah for instance you can say solid line and you can change the color for instance if i make it yellow it will be yellow as you can see here it is converted to yellow but it is better to have a very light color for the background grids yeah even you can remove yeah if you know, if you don't need any grid line you can simply no line and as you can see here you have simply a graph you have simply a graph but it is better uh, to to have a grid line and you can undo for that so again you can uh, double click on that line to change the color the color or the line the line style for instance uh, let's make the color is very light just like this one to distinguish from the main uh, graph okay and the line style can be changed so you can change the width you can increase or decrease the width even you can change the style the style just uh, selecting from this or you can make it in a dash form for instance you can make it just like this one and you can close so as you can see it is changed it is changed okay even you can change the border you can simply click on that then you can uh, have a fill for instance if you wish a solid fill you can make just like this one whatever you like so you can uh, make it more more attractive okay uh, following the same if you wish to change the border the border you can say solid line and even you can change the color you can make it red for instance as you can see here the border is uh, changed it is red the border line is converted into red so if you wish uh, uh, to make it more attractive you can do whatever you like okay you can do this whatever you like even you can change this one into different uh, forms yeah for instance if you wish to change the uh, data you can change simply can double click on the graph then you have different options as you can see here from the left uh, 
uh, top corner you have change chart type so you can simply click on that then you can change this uh, style into other forms for instance let's change into bar into bar which means let's make it horizontal okay so you can select this one the first one then make it okay so as you can see here we have changed it to horizontal horizontal and this is called the bar graph bar graph as you can see here in the year of 2020 uh, we have these values and these uh, uh, grades these grades so if you can change even the style by clicking simply in the menu bar you have these different styles even you can change or you can add title and the like okay so if you wish to change or to make it vertical again you will go to the change chart type then you can select the column the column so that you can select this the previous one i think this is very simple to understand and you have different styles here okay so for instance you can make just like this even you can change the color to make it very uh, clear very clear for me i think this one is very clear so even you can uh, add uh, different styles as you can see here we have this style yeah this style or you can make it just like this the numbers the values of each bar can be at the top so you can make it as you like as you like okay you can follow any uh, style any style for instance for me this one is attractive so i can change the title here so you can simply type the title as number of number number of students students in percent simply you can say in percent okay so this will be the title even if you wish to insert uh, uh, other values you can simply insert a text box for instance if you wish to say this one here uh, a legend simply you can insert you can insert text box you have uh, sorry you have text box here you can insert either of these text boxes or you can simply draw a text box wherever you want yeah for instance let's make here let's say legend okay legend and you can modify or you can format this one sorry can format this one So this will be the legend. I think this will be very helpful for you. If you like this uh, tutorial video, please share my uh, uh, video or you can subscribe my channel. Thank you for today. See you next time.